And yesterday is the third time that Jokic had at least 20 points, 15 mm. boards, mm. and five assists in these playoffs. That ties LeBron James wow. for the most in a postseason over <clears throat> the last 10 years. So, Charles was just talking about it with us, and, and I will give you credit. We launched this show April 2nd of last year. <laughs> you have been talking about Denver from then on. Are, is this a team, whoever it is that comes out of Golden State Houston, is Denver a team that could legitimately make it to the NBA Finals yes, this year? Yes, yes, yes. They're going to press who I anticipate is going to be the Golden State Warriors in the next round because they play opposite of what you see from most teams. Usually teams like to surround the three-point line with four or five guys and go pick and roll action to try to draw and kick. Denver's just the opposite. They scored 124 points, but they only made eight threes. Why? They're inverting their offense. When you have the Joker that can now play outside of the paint, it leaves it open for backdoor cuts like that one. And that's a different brand of basketball than you're seeing most teams play. When you watch the Houston Rockets play, they never cut. When you watch, the, uh, so, so th look, at, this is a center getting a rebound, initiating the offense. Now you see Murray cutting, you see Harris cutting, and props to Paul Millsap, too, because he found his game in this series. He's taking advantage of smaller lineups. And let's just say it. I mean, Charles brought it up. You've been saying it forever. Nikola Jokic is the best big in the sport, right? He, he is the best big man in the world right now. How about this? As a voter for all NBA, when I put out the fact on this show that I voted Jokic first team, I had a lot of people screaming at me about it. How can you not put Embiid on first team? Because Jokic's team is in the Western Conference, had a number two seed, and he needs them in multiple categories. While Embiid made second team, his team was in the East, and they were a third seed, and they didn't meet expectations. And now look at how it's playing out in the playoffs. Look, I mean, Embiid has sort of a dominating skill set about him that is more eye-popping. But when you, if you really sit and watch Jokic play, he does everything. You always say it, dribble, pass, and shoot. Mm -hmm. He's a seven-footer who does all three of those things. Here, here's a perfect example. When, Sometimes when people watch and or analyze the game, they look for the splash points. So Joel Embiid is loud when he goes to dunk. He's really loud when he's at the press conference. He's, look at me when I score. <clears throat> the Jokic doesn't dunk. He can't jump, okay? And he just lumbers up and down the floor. So aesthetically, people can sleep on him. Now all of a sudden, he's putting up big-time numbers we have to pay attention. Embiid also was a big star in college in the United States, and he plays for the Philadelphia 76ers and not the Denver Nuggets. The reality is Nikola Jokic is a superstar. People just don't know it yet.